30 million Americans will suffer from an eating disorder, one in four students on a college campus. Eating disorders are the number one killer of all mental illnesses. The preeminent thought leaders in this field are at the Eating Recovery Center. So kind of like and they the founded the Eating Recovery yes. Foundation with a mission to change how eating disorders are viewed, uh, treated, and prevented. Please have a seat. Dr. Ovidio Bermudez is the Chief Clinical Officer at the Eating Recovery Center and also the Medical Director for Children and Adolescents. More than 90% of people who have an eating disorder are between 18 and 25 years old. The field of eating disorders is in a critical stage. It's a little bit like we're an adolescent now and we need all the help we can to sort of launch into adulthood. How does the Eating Recovery Foundation really enhance what you do every day. The Eating Recovery Foundation has a critical role not only in how it relates to our patients and the care uh, that it often extends, but also as it relates to information raising awareness uh, and funding research, which is, you know, I think critical. Education is essential to understanding this complex, devastating disease. Individuals suffering from the eating disorders, their families, and the professionals who work with them must have the tools to foster prevention, early interventions, and lasting recovery. The number of people seeking treatment is expanding, and eating disorders do not discriminate. They affect women and men, and people from different socioeconomic and cultural backgrounds suffer from eating disorders. Hispanic Americans, African Americans, there were certain aspects about those cultures that were protective against the development of eating disorders. People were more accepting of different sizes and the like. That is no longer true. More than 70% of people with an eating disorder do not seek treatment because of stigma surrounding the illness and misconceptions. It's not like people choose to have an eating disorder. Absolutely, eating disorders are not a fad. They're not a choice, they're a serious mental illness, and a serious mental illness that carries uh, the highest mortality rate of any mental disorder um, that we know of. One person dies from an eating disorder every 60 minutes. Through the Body Project, a body acceptance training program, the Eating Recovery Foundation is reducing the risk of eating disorders by targeting the highly vulnerable age group on college campuses. The Body Project is successful in changing perceptions of an image ideal and reducing eating disorders. The evidence-based prevention efforts are the best thing we have to offer. Uh, to avoid this problem for the many. And it's the critical time to intervene before, before the illness has cemented itself. In terms of research for eating disorders, so vital, and as you say, there's so much more that needs to be done. At a time when there isn't a lot of funding available, the Eating Recovery Foundation is backing research and looking for people all the time who can really dig deep into this, this problem. Right, and, and backing research, I think, in a creative, highly effective way which is to find young investigators that are thinking at novel ways of thinking about how we understand eating disorders, how we can effectively treat eating disorders, how we can effectively prevent eating disorders. There is hope today because treatment as we know it works, but I think there is much hope for tomorrow because the reality is, is that our best discoveries are ahead of us um, as we understand and, and are able to address these illnesses. When it comes to caring for the illness, the Eating Recovery Foundation steps in to bridge the financial gap. If insurance coverage stops and costs become overwhelming and unaffordable for the patient. When a treatment experience, regardless of the length, is terminated um, in a rapid fashion, right, that leaves the individual, that leaves the family um, less prepared for a transition. And transitions in treatment are always difficult. Through those three areas, education, research, and charitable care, the Eating Recovery Foundation is uniquely positioned to address those most urgent needs and help people live healthy and happy lives. Once they're out of this illness, they don't just fly, they soar. And that to me is a really important aspect of this, at least what motivates me in the morning.